everybody. Um, somebody requested about how to do a video on how to print the pattern and assemble it. So I'm going to do a quick little video on that. Sorry, I've been at work all day, so this isn't my best look. But um, if you want my best look, look at all the nice photos on my blog. Okay, so this is the real me. Um, so I'm going to do a little video on how to do that. So around, here's my computer. I have the brassy joggers right here, the pattern. Um, this is in Adobe um, Adobe Reader, so you can see up here um, it says Adobe Reader. If you just open it straight off your computer, it's not going to be in Adobe straight from the download. You have to open it in Adobe in order to be able to see the layers. Um, so I'm going to click over here. You can see I'm clicking on this little, these little stacked boxes. Um, this does not have size layers, but it does have uh, layers for the rise. So we have both the low rise and the mid rise. I usually make the mid-rise instead of the low-rise, but that's up to you. You want to leave this other box checks. So don't mess with the page numbers. Um, so then I'm just going to hit print. Um, now you don't want to necessarily print all the instructions. You can kind of keep going down here until um, you get to the actual pattern. I'm not going to do all the pages, but I'll just kind of start with some of the pages for you. So I'm going to print, let's see, starts on page 13. So I'm just going to print page 13. To 18 so you can kind of see how it works um, now you want to make sure I have that I usually print in grayscale I don't print the color um, that your scale is just a second sweetie that your scale is set to 100% and then you're gonna print you don't want it messing with the size on there so then come over to my printer and hopefully it's going to be printing for us. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sophia, say hi. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so pattern's starting to come out here. Oh no, Amy, I don't know why that happened. Oh, printers can be so finicky. Okay, so we have my messy table here, um, but you can see it says mid-rise option here. We have these lines on the right-hand side and on the bottom. This is a no-trim pattern. What that means is you don't have to cut this off. What you're going to do is just lay it down so that it overlaps just there so you can see that line. And then you're going to tape. This is a little bit hard to do one-handed but you can kind of see how that works you're going to tape that down i usually tape at the places that i'm going to be cutting so that when i cut my pattern apart it doesn't fall apart um, so you're going to continue across so i have page 13 page 14 page 15 and so on um, and then when you get to the end of the row you're going to come back and page 17 attaches here Hi, sweetheart. Right at the bottom. So that's how that's going to work. I'm just going to line that one up and then keep going across. So hopefully, yes, hi, Sophia. Hopefully that answers some questions for you about how to tape the pattern together. Oops, she wants up. So, um, and then, you know, you're just going to cut along your size. So it has a little legend here for the size and whatever size you're making. If you're making the size small, for example, that's the solid line. I really love how they do that so that it makes it easier rather than just colors. So then you would just cut along the solid line if you're making the small. Um, so I'm going to um, go now, but hopefully that answers some questions. Feel free to, to post and ask if you need more help. All right. Bye. Bye.